What is up YouTube? If you read the title of this video or read the description down below, you would have guessed right that I'm on another rot repair job. And I'm pretty sure you can make a living in my area just fixing wood rot. I mean, it is literally everywhere. I can drive in one neighborhood and probably 75% of the houses have wood rot somewhere. All right, I'll turn the camera around and show you guys what's going on. But the funny thing with this house is we almost bought this exact house. Um, but the rooms were just too small, so we decided not to buy it. But it's got a really nice lot, and we just decided to buy a different one. Okay. So there's major issue number one right here. And we're going to have a dog barking the whole time. Go figure. Um, and you can see these bricks sank in the ground. And, you know, there's a hole right in here. Um, and then this behind here is rotted too. I can feel it. And I mean, this is all bad. So what the plan is, I'm going to surgically remove um, from that trim piece over. All of this is going to come out from the door over to there. And then um, all that is in pretty good shape, so that's going to stay. But the whole door is coming out, the brick bolt's coming out. Uh, new exterior door, new storm door. They filled this with foam, so obviously there's a hole here and this is this feels pretty solid but I gotta at least take I gotta take this out because this is rotting over here so what I'm gonna do with this I think is I'm just gonna cut across here like this back caulk it on the inside lay the piece in and then nail it it's gonna be my best bet but I say this all the time Whew. And sometimes you wonder once you get involved if you got too far into it or not and should have turned the job down. But man, we got some shit going on here. I pulled that off. You can see this is this is all in the sand. It's all in the ground. All this is. This is the floor joist right here. This is the insulation that was touching this. This is freaking dirt here. And you can see in there. That's the joist too, running along the first floor. So I gotta get this pulled off and see what's going on, but we got a lot of shit going on here. So I'll just show you guys. We can't all be smart. But common sense goes a long way. You know, who in their right mind thinks it's okay to pile up all this sand and gravel to put pavers down my buddy to put pavers down and put it up against all this wood down here I mean come on man so what I told her to do I said to get rid of all this crap you want to keep the paver patio fine get rid of this and just put a freaking concrete step up and then be done with it then just pile up all this rock up against this piece which is totally rotted <laughs> And then underneath here where the joists are sitting. So I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get in here and freaking dig all this out to get down to where the joists are. Replaced uh, the rim joist all the way around, at least from here to there. And then work on getting this fixed of what I originally thought I was going to do. Because I just don't think there's any other way to do it. All right, so as I suspected, this is all rotted away. That side's actually not rotted, so not too bad. And see here, you can see the floor joist. There's there, there. That one's a little rotted, so I'll pull that insulation back, I think, and we'll um, sister a new piece next to it. But you know, there's nothing. It's all just, it's gravel right up to the insulation, which is crazy, you know? So the crawl space is, is, I think there's a crawl space on this side, so it might be right, must be right up underneath it. Now this is the downside to doing repairs like this. When you're surgically removing stuff, you have to go slow and it just takes time because I don't want to damage this. And what they did was, you can still see, it's kind of hard to see in the camera, see that that's peeling paint. 
back there. So all they did was take the brick mold that was all peeling and just wrapped it in aluminum. But when you're surgically re removing this stuff, you got to be careful because this piece was old and caulked into this piece of brick mold and then was caulked into that. So I had to remove this caulk very carefully not to damage this, then go back with my multi-tool and get that too. So it's about out now, but you got to be careful because you're going to surgically remove it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and do the same thing and duplicate it again with new wood. So I'm gonna slip it back behind there and then re-caulk that. Here's the foundation of the house right here. And here's the rim joist sitting on top of it. So this was an afterthought. So after doing some more investigating, there you go. See, they did, they sistered these. They sistered those joists to the ones that are sitting on the crawl space. There's the crawl space, which I've been inside this house. When we looked at buying it, that's a crawl space on a concrete floor. They sistered these in because there's the sill plate for the house, foundation underneath, and I'm pretty sure that's just sitting in the mud. Now, I don't know what they just laid that on there and then put the joist on top of that or what, but this is wild, man. Well, I'll be damned. My suspicions are correct. There is nothing holding this on that out so oh man I think what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to dig around this whole thing and, and slide this out I think you want to get into the remodeling world handyman world home ownership world man it ain't always pretty I can tell you that and one thing usually always leads to another okay there's the piece so that what was just sitting on the dirt Whew. <laughs> it is so muggy now um, but I've devised a plan and I'll show you what we're gonna do for the solution okay now first of all I'm gonna give a shout out to my buddy Tom because he's gonna watch this video and he's gonna be mad if I don't give him a shout out so thanks Tom for the information he's been in the trades a long time and it's always good to be able to lean on somebody for advice or different ideas on what you think you've come up with so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put some blocking in each one of these cavities and nail it so this way it's all blocked in from the outside so no animals can get in from the outside then I'll go on the inside and I'll put insulation all in there then what I'm gonna do for the outside I'm gonna put a thin plastic vapor barrier down and then I'm gonna level this off because this has got a big hole here um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put some liquid nails under each joist and then prop it up so it's sitting on these joists so that has some insulation factor for the rest of the kitchen floor from um, the sill to the outside. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that's my best bet. I'm not gonna do what they did and put another piece of plywood down. This way no moisture is gonna get up from the ground and that, it, that foam will be an insulation barrier from the cold of the ground and also that will never rot out so that's what I'm gonna do and uh, let's just keep moving along all right here's how far we made it I got all the blocking underneath there okay then I took and leveled this off put the vapor barrier underneath and then the foam board on top of that and then what I did was this is pretty tight so that was wedged in really nice this wasn't so what I did was I liquid nailed each one of these and then put some more dirt and a couple rocks under there to prop it up until um, that dries so it stays. All right, give you guys a quick update. Here's where we're at. All that's fixed now. I got the fish queen, the foam board underneath, blocking in the inside. And now I'm just getting this opening prepped up. The old door is removed, of course. That sill was rotted there, so I replaced that with a fresh piece of cedar. And uh, now what I'm gonna do is waterproof the opening with this tape, I use this a lot. And then uh, after I waterproof it, I'm gonna go by and I might just, I think I'm just gonna waterproof this whole, whole area here and then put fresh paper on the bottom part of that. All right, here's where we're at. We're ready to put the door in, I got it all waterproofed. 
and it is ready to be put in. I'm excited to be at this step after having to deal with that for way too long. But let's go get the door. Let's put it in. Okay, we got the door in. Got the handle on. Working good. Locks and unlocks perfect. So I had to do a little bit of adjusting though. The door was kind of um like this just a little bit so i had to go in there put a couple of shims in um then the hinges and now we are perfect looks good okay i want to show you guys one thing where doors always fail and it even says in the instructions to do this and i see doors all the time that never have this okay right there this right here needs to be sealed because if you don't Water is going to drip down and get underneath there and do the same thing it did last time, which is rot this away. So if you're installing the door yourself, don't forget, caulk that. Okay, we moved on to the trim. Now, the most optimal thing to do is to replace this whole piece. But it was good except for the bottom, so I'm going to piece it in. So I made a straight cut, and I actually tried to bevel it this way just a little bit so there's a nice line here but you're always going to be left with a tiny gap okay it'll look better once i get it actually on there but this is what i always do caulk so i'll back caulk this all in here and then i'll take this and prime the tops and prime the bottoms and then i'll install the piece this way it's like double protected okay there you go hopefully you guys can see this i got it all nailed in and it looks pretty good. So now what I'll do is when I'm done, I'll go back. And if you can see, see the caulk's all the way in there now? But I'll go back and put another bead on the outside because I gotta caulk all this anyway. All right, we just about reached the end of this project. I got all the trim paint on the outside. I got the storm door hung up. The last step is going to be um, painting that door. All right guys, sorry for such a long-winded video. But I wanted to show the process from start to finish and also that it's just um, some jobs are just not always pretty. Don't forget, subscribe to this channel, give me those thumbs up, hit that bell for future notifications. Be sure to share this video and we'll see you on the next one.